Uh, we are live. Let me make sure we are good to go and you can see us, you can hear us. The bee just asked me, are there good finds? The name, the title of this live show, Stores Drying Up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh uh, yeah, we're good. Now you can see us, you can hear us. Uh, let me see. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want to read that title. Uh, let me see. S.A. here till the battery on my phone dies. All right. S.A. William Perry. Dapper Fanatic. Sue Huskins. Tony. Brian. Whatever everyone sourcing was. Straight Dookie today. Looks like toilet water. What's good, people? Rudrin and A.K. Rowdy. One Kick Finder. Josh Brown. Uh, Brown Town Finds. Manny Fresh. And Lucky in Three Legs. Infinite Wealth, Astro Drip, Christian, Retrospective Gear, Arman, Mark Walker, Stories Dry as El Paso, uh, Browns and Finds reporting from work, AN went to seven stores today, not one good thing, good thing my car don't use gas. Oh. Um, <laughs> Tesla. Closet. Tesla. CNJ. Uh, Pile Ortiz, what's up? And Magnetic Souls. About 50 people. More people will be jumping in unless they read that title. And then they just. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's probably not a good idea for the title. I should have been like Massive Marshall's Finds. Yeah. Incredible cool. Marshall's Finds. Right. Cart Halls. Cart Halls. And it'd be like, like Throwback Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me start off. All right, let me get this in here. Start off with the oh. lightning. All right, Yo, so what happened? Came down. Okay, this is the lowest it'll ever be, folks. Just FYI. Demand misinformation. SA swoop, man. Anybody? How many did you pick up? And are you surprised with the pricing? Like B said, this is the lowest he think it'll it'll ever be. Mm -hmm. Size twelve, three hundred. 13, 307, 11 and a half, 305. Uh, originally, I think we projected 280. So it's actually doing better, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Small sizes are at 283, 281. Right, right, right. Because because I, I said it would be like two. Well, man, we have to go back. I think it's 275 to 300 is what I said. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, let me see. Brian sold a pair of 325 local. Mm -hmm. uh, magnetic souls let the truth set us free <laughs> big cheese what's up uh hit on one gs pair to legit like in three legs size 913 mr sports la three pairs nice uh let me see i remember when fire reds were this price because i sold them at this price as a n <laughs> And then now they're like what four hundred close to four. <laughs> yeah, they're like three. Yeah, they're like at three something. Uh, Hawaii Rams fans, what up? Uh, do you think the Pollens are gonna tank now? Says Daring. Yeah, they'll be a retail for a while. Oh man, you heard it from the B. How did UNC fours go after drop? Same as this. Was it around the same? We gotta go back and see the highlights. Yeah. This um. Same. Hustle B4 sounds better than Lightning 4s. For real. I'm, I'm definitely... <laughs> well, like the box, though. Have you seen the box, Glenn? They're oh, like, yeah. Mad. They're yeah, mad. I did see that. All right, here we go. B's going to get the box. Uh, AK Rowdy, 213s, 26.5. Yeah, they're not shiny. I like them. Oh, I like that. Nice. Wow. So what sizes did you get? Um, I got uh, 9, 9.5, nine 5, and 5.5, and, and then a 10.5. Mm, okay. Nice little mix, love variety. Yeah, there. pretty mix. Yeah, I, I don't I don't try for bigger sizes because you know how they have only one or two per store. Yeah. Probably one on most stores. Uh, Price Assassins, wherever he is, I know got a couple pairs as well. Yep. Um, let me see, Omar, what's up? To legit S A fours are the new ones. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go back up. Let me see, Jordan Brand pumping lots of yellow colored Jordans. Mm -hmm. Very very true. Big L on size five Y for my son Max. Do you think they'll go up to five hundred? Uh, not this year. Uh, yeah, it probably two or three years. Three, yeah, down, three, probably three. three. Oh man. Yeah, I think a while. I mean, 
it's this is not going to be more valuable than black cats yeah black cats i mean that's at 700 but that's a different that's a different story it's a different right? beast right 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 uh but, there are, there's price assassins yeah but given the fact that they didn't restock i mean they didn't retro this for like, what 15 years or something yeah, like that yeah yeah yep. a long time so that means there's really no pair out there yeah a long time coming for this one yeah, Elliot, if you have, if you have, yeah if you have savings account you know cash that in for shoes and hoard retros you'll be yeah be better cop this one smash this one magnetic souls 15 years drip aporium what's up uh gonna take a long time because everyone's gonna hold <laughs> hmm um rj funky finds what up what did i miss not much just covering uh lightning fours and looking at the prices see what they're gonna be they're definitely gonna go up once we start hitting november yeah sure. yeah i'm thinking 350 by christmas time okay 350 heard from the b yep there we go all right let's go next updates detailed look dark marina blue jordan ones it's like what like mid <laughs> do you think it's no, very that's, clean? that's literally the colorway of the mids i thought it was isn't this pretty much just the pollen except blue i mean yeah. as far as like the, the color, color blocking block. goes yeah uh like, ross like, shallington what's up extra with, grand with, with what white nike tag come on that's mid oh, bro. yeah a white nike and the white nike air on there uh what do we think smasher pass for the collection resell we know should be there but what do you think for a collection yeah i mean you know like my soundbite said i think it's a clean shoe yeah it's definitely i think clearer um, than some of the other ones we've seen out there yeah i mean but man looking at the quality though it looks like basic quality it looks like court purple quality <laughs> like, no that's a 1.0 like the 2.0 court purple mm, okay like like it don't sound like you're a huge fan. Man, you know like, tired of ones or you're tired of ones. No, I mean I, I I want good quality ones. Like just like the bad one, you know, breads, the twenty what sixteen, like good quality, like mm. like mocha quality ones. Come okay. on. Come on, Glenn. You like <laughs> you show you show me this. They look like mids. <laughs> Mid quality they too. Like they're lubed up. Uh, the blueberry smash uh, makes my calves pop. Smash color my car. Smash clean but looks like pollen quality. Says A N exactly. Yep, that's what we we're talking about. Um, let me see. Agreed with the B. Definite collection worthy. Towing them. Smash smash super clean. Yeah, that's why Force is the new ones because Force got better quality and better materials than what, what they're putting on once now. Oh, you feel like okay, it's gotta be over two hundred for you to get a good quality shoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like oh, one seventy. Now nah, we'll give you the cheapest quality. I feel like now, like the materials are like we'll use everything from one, you know, hundred bucks to one hundred seventy. It'll have the same material. Anything over one hundred seventy, <laughs> we pick a different material. <laughs> uh, they're clean but not important. Those that are. Is not royals <laughs> yeah yeah they're not they're not royal ones <laughs> all right let's go to the next <laughs> <laughs> so are you kind of confused with uh this is jordan 13 low singles day <laughs> like, somebody had somebody like was bored obviously in 2020 i was like Hey, I wonder what it looks like if we connect the dots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. And look at the quality of that, man. Come <laughs> on. No, dude, we just matched the quality of the other one. This one's bad. This yeah. one's bad. <laughs> look at look at the black that they use. They even use flat black. It's like shiny black. Then let's do like the fake tumbled leather up front. And then... Man. Go in the dark. Because a piece of trash shoes. Uh, let me see. March I feel March like they should, yeah, they, they should have called these the uh, Constellation 13s, right? Yeah. Because that's what they're going for, like, like, you know, those plastic glow-in-the-dark things that you put on your roof, uh, your ceiling when you were a kid. Yeah. Uh, what is going on here? 
<laughs> yeah, exactly, Armand. Jordan Brand obviously has no respect for single people. Like, <laughs> like this is gonna get you a date. No, this is gonna keep you single. Yeah, that's what Josh said. Josh Brown gonna keep you single forever if you rock these. <laughs> uh, and Rudrin, same thing. Disgusting, says French Fry. What is going on with this? Connect the dots. These are Jake approved. A glow in the dark. They're running out of ideas, bro. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. That's. I mean, they should. They. I mean, at least hire hustler hacks to be their designer. Or something. <laughs> I could do you a know? little. I could do a little bit better than this. Right. Come on. Uh, let's see. Nowadays, people rocking ugly ass sneakers. They'll sell out. So we'll see what happens with this one. But I don't even know when this releases. Nothing. Who vomited on these shoes? We have trash. Bad. That's weak. Next. You're finally going to get military blue, but in <laughs> golf form. <laughs> oh, really? I was like, when I first saw it, like, yes, we call <laughs> it. It's the next four. I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the the models and colors you do want. Jordan yeah. Like, mm, mm, nah. Nope. Golf. We're giving let's it just, golf. Let's just wait a little bit. I don't think they really want military blue. Let's do golf first. Yeah, and then be like, uh, tennis is next. <laughs> yeah. What about these single day thirteens? Oh yeah, yeah. Get those yeah. out. Get those out. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Just take the spikes off. I was wondering about that. So, won't be kind of slippery. Um, technically, it still can. It would be more slippery than usual, but it's not plastic. So. It's kind of like uh, it's more like hard rubber, so I, I haven't seen it done, but I've always questioned that because you know there were like what was that? Remember the what was the threes? Remember there were threes that came out that that they made them. Uh, uh, was it the brown three something like that? Oh yeah, yeah no, kind of no. like the taupe, right? And yeah, something yeah. like that, and then. Yeah, you probably could remove this because I mean they're interchangeable, so uh you can soul swap these as SA. Yeah, but that's like rather buy military force after paying all that, you know? Yeah. Maybe some traction tape. Uh that's the thing. I was kind of wondering, like, what can you do? There all right, grip Glenn, tape. Grip tape. Just, let's let's go enter for sneakers app, and I bet you we'll win. Because it's something that we all didn't really want. <laughs> And then we'll experiment, and then we'll okay. just we'll return it at our Nike outlet, and then buy it at a discount when it hits the with wall. Big money mall. Yeah, with big money mall. <laughs> uh, heat gun them joints. Yes, See. you do need a special tool to remove them, but it's not hard. It's actually as long as you have like, kind of like, uh, two kind of like, I don't know what it's called them like, two points, and then you can twist them. So you could actually come up with you know with two like screwdrivers and then as long as you can twist them counterclockwise they'll they'll pop off. Uh, sneaker pickers, what's up? Cook kicks at the Golf Jordans have got that uh, quality premium material too. Agree, agree. They do have good quality. You know which one I I did like? It was um kind of like a light pink one with stripes on there. Oh yeah, the, was it? There was a fours, right? Yeah, it was a four. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I thought that one was dope. Now, that one it's I kind of like. It's kind of like candy cane, right? Kind of like that. Yeah, that one went for good money though. Like as a golf. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That one would be good to experiment, but I don't know about experiment because then I'm gonna mess things up and then you know, we all trashed. But maybe give them to someone that knows what they're doing and then hey, make these wearable. Yeah. Seer sucker. There we go. Sourcing code. Um, sneaker pickers can't wait to see Mac versus Tua week one. Oh lord, <laughs> man, it's, I'm pumped oh, for that. One. When does it start? That'll be next Sunday, not this Sunday, the following Sunday. Man, I think that's a 2 30 game. Well, 2 30 my time, 4 30 east. Oh, Tua against his backup man. Hey, can we do a watch party? We should have a watch party every time your dolphins play. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to tune in and watch Dolphins. <laughs> or see me watch Dolphins. Let go Pats. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, didn't, didn't they just let go of Cam Newton? Yes, they did. So now <laughs> Mac will be uh, starting for them. And he was like, he was so confident that he's going to be quarter QB1. 
I know. <laughs> Did you know that Cam backwards spells Mac? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. <laughs> All right, I don't even know. We keep showing these, but I mean, at you... least use the right color. Is it like dots? Is it like perforated leather? <laughs> I don't know. If it's like a I don't know what that is. I mean, like a mesh looking. Yeah, it looks like one of those medical tape. You know what I'm saying? Those uh, <laughs> plaster. This whole, this like gray, the splatter with the gray and the orange, and then things just don't look right here. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, see, Jordans are sadder than Ross. What is that? Uh, <laughs> corduroy. <laughs> canvas. What is this? Just take out the word backboard. Why? You say Jordan shattered. <laughs> Jordan 5 shattered. <laughs> <laughs> just Jordan shattered. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess we'll see more photos once it gets closer. You know what? I think this is supposed to come out this month already. <laughs> <laughs> there was like no no hype, no release, no nothing. It's just, hey. Right. At least our, we know, you know, probably next year we'll have this in our outlets. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, might as well just release them. Outlet exclusive. Yep. We just do it now. Yep. Um, let me see. I like them. Vintage Profits. Let's see if somebody likes these out there. Uh, Mendez finds what are those. Yeah, so we'll see when these release. All right, into the news from Activate Hustle Mode. A record-breaking 44 container ships are stuck off the coast of California. <laughs> that's, that's nice. But, that is wild, huh? Yeah. It's only going to get worse from here, too. Okay, so... My wife always says, not tonight! I guess we'll have to, you know, uh, dig in deeper why. Maybe they're asking them to quarantine, or are they... Do they not have enough people to unload these things? Yeah, I don't know. It just says here, number of vessels are waiting to get into two ports due to the, you know, P word right there. Mm. Um, what's up, Petty Deals? Holiday season gonna be rough. So, oh. containers full of fire <laughs> vintage profit. <laughs> <laughs> That's really where it's at, right? Like, as soon as it gets in, tides turn. Like, <laughs> right? Cartfuls. <laughs> it's RBX land out here. Uh, gonna pull out from the vault for Q4 sourcing code. Once shipments become unclogged while retail stores flood Marshalls and Ross with excess inventory, I don't know if this is a possibility. Well, here's the thing. The retail stores don't even have enough inventory, right? Mm -hmm. Because people are buying them at retail right now, mm -hmm. right? So even Full Locker don't have much inventory, right? Even, you know, so, so that's why we're hurting a lot because – you know, you have people stop buying for like a year or six months, and then now they go out, start buying everything in retail. I feel like it's gonna take another year for us to get back to where we were at because there has to be an excess of supply before it hits our stores. Mm -hmm. the, the, you know, the discount stores. I mean, things get discounted because of the past season and and excess of supply but i think like we don't have enough supply that's why there's really no kind of like old season items yeah uh cb is 100 percent on point infinite wealth i heard marshall's has a billion dollars worth of it, merchandise stuck in one of these containers oh uh, it seems that nike online is still popping not sure if they're just diverting all inventory to there so i think online definitely they're still yep. not only that i mean nike they're keeping up with online they're keeping up with jordan releases some have obviously gotten delayed right. things like that but for the most part they're kind of on top of that they're just not on top of outlet yeah and of course trickling things down ross burlington all of that i mean clothing we have seen but shoes yeah. no yeah uh let me see we get monday b on a wednesday <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even started i'm already getting fired up 
Uh, but I did see on, I know I mentioned it before, but I saw an update from some of the Amazon sellers when it comes to like toys and all of that. And I think it was Hasbro, one of the toy makers, they were saying that they're trying to shift things and figure it out for a Q4 time, but it doesn't really look promising for like, so I wonder how toys are even going to go down. Cause right, right, right. they even showed uh, different people showing photos of their like Walmarts and all that and mm-hmm. toys just empty yeah and i'm like that's crazy who knows what's gonna happen when we start rolling around november december yeah it's that's totally true i mean if you think about it too these companies are not dumb they're they're actually you know they're thinking ahead now and if you think about it right it, we go back to when we read foot lockers uh what do you call that their quarterly or yearly or annually their online sales skyrocketed right mm, yeah. so i'm sure it's not just full upper it's everybody across the board and you know how much cheaper it is to send direct to consumer than to send to a store and staff the store <laughs> so so if 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 online i mean we've predicted this way way before prior to pandemic the bu- the buying patterns of people is slowly have been slowly shifting to online or an e-commerce yeah and the crazy part about pandemic it forced everybody to trust online even our grandparents that didn't trust online before yeah. so now everybody's buying everything online and then now is there's like they're probably smart it's like hey look we don't have to pay insurance for our store we don't have to pay for x amount of employees we ship directly and you know fortunately fedex and ups are keeping up so you know they're sending and selling everything online and same thing, like, you you know, Target had to open or even oh, whole parts of, like, their store to have for people that go and they pick up, right? Like Yeah, the yeah the, the curbside. Yeah, yeah, the curbside from, like, the app or, or yeah. online and all that. And they even had – they used to have, like, little, like, food court thing. Yeah. You know, the popcorn smells good yeah, and all that. Now, it's now, like, pickup order. Yeah, right? now it's, like, a pickup Wild, thing. Wild, like, like – and you see like giant TVs and everything, like man. <laughs> well, like you, you think it's Black Friday there when you go in? Yeah, curbside, ready to go. <laughs> uh, speaking of Black Friday, I wonder how that's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> Imagine there's no, there's no inventory. Is like, how many more months? How many more days, Glenn? Can you? Uh, we got about like Friday? two and a half more months, or technically. Yo, more. all right. Quick tip: whoever's watching right now, don't undersell your items. Hold am in if you got more money to buy products keep buying products and hoard it because we will have the upper hand come this black friday q4 so listen to the b so they have the capital start hoarding yeah all right let me see this is going to be a regular friday <laughs> josh brown but like now we're not even going to go through that anymore okay speaking of uh holding on inventory and sales how are sales we just started a new month today. <laughs> dude, dude, I think I jinxed myself. Remember I was telling you that's like, oh, man, it's like the best. Uh, and I had a day, which was Monday. Monday, right? After I after we ended the show, I looked at my, my, my eBay sales. I had zero on Monday. <laughs> zero. That was wild. But besides that, everything's like trending up now. Right. Yeah, people are getting paid. Trying to get back into the whole system, back to everything. But hey, first of the month. And let me see, Goat Mercari, you're both up. Miles. 1K today, AK Rowdy. Oh. Nice. Here we Brian. Go. Sales chart going up. Been hoarding for three months. Steven, that's what I like to nice. hear. Nice. Uh, Eric watches YouTube. I emailed you back on your uh, winnings. Moving weeks. I've had time away. Um, which sucks and sales were heating up. So they go five sales through and not awful. Uh, picking back up, Ross Shellington, sales are decent, AN. Vintage Profit, Mercari, Beasting. Sales pretty good, petty deals. One sale on go today, SA, eBay Poshman, eBay been steady. Sales blew up last week, RJ. Standard, Patrick, sales picking up, SA. And let's see. Uh, decent sales past two weeks steady and sneaker pickers seven days have been wild over 1k average per day so wow. ready to go 
Football cleats finally moving on goat. Been hoarding for six months. Extra grand. <laughs> Ready to cash out for the holidays. Uh, I heard these big stores are buying their own cargo ships and planes because it's like 20K per container. I also heard that it was like super expensive per container now. Mm, like they, they like tripled in price. Wow. That's so, why all the like the 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 shipment, you know, like like raw materials or if you have factory outside the US, you're yeah. screwed. All right. Here we go. Weekend releases. LeBron 18 low Stewie. Man, I thought we've seen this before. Yeah, we looked at them on one of our updates to see when it's uh, coming out. But now they're coming out in two days. And uh 160. Friday, September 3rd. Smasher Pass. I mean, obviously, uh, they, they don't look bad, but they're just not going to do well, I think, compared to the other ones. I mean, LeBron's yeah. are just... Yeah, you can... Seen. Yeah, just buy Air Max 270s for 110 <laughs> <laughs> Uh Container business, big money. One of my customers who sells stone said the same thing about the containers. Crazy expensive mm. right now. Uh, trash. Next. Trash. Pass. 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 Next. Jordan Shimmer. Ford. Shimmer. Uh, $190. Friday, September. That's not right. Friday's the third. Uh, let me see. Brand new women's colorway this week. Shimmer. Color scheme features a tan upper. British leather and new book. What do you think? So, well, slight. It's kind of like the cheaper off white. Like they're kind of comparing <laughs> it here. I don't know. See, we know fours are doing well. Right. Women's. It might throw it off. I don't know. I mean, I, th I think they're still going to have resale value. I just don't know. I mean, they're not going to do better than Lightning, I don't see. No, no, no. They're probably going to be like, probably make 50 bucks on this. I'm, well, let me rephrase. If you're getting the men's spare sizing, I think it would be worth something. Mm. Uh, but anything, you know, like the smaller women's size, you know, the six, the sevens, I think those are the ones that they're going to have a lot more. Um, I think it's a clean shoe. I mean, I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't mind rocking it. This kind of remind me of the Sand Force. You know what I'm saying? Remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think I, I think it's a clean shoe. Uh, let me see what the chat says. Uh, Size eleven and twelve. Uh, does is it me or some of the women's fours narrow in size? Oh, uh, women's are definitely uh, uh narrow. Like the 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 Jordan women's are definitely narrow narrower. Obviously, uh, fire. Poor man's off white. Try to cop. Off white. Broke girl. Off white fours. <laughs> yeah, Shimmer, just put yes. a, uh, just put a zip tie and it'd be off white. <laughs> Clean. So let's see. Holding two pair. Bread fours. Trending five hundred plus right now. Sneaker pickers ready. Ten and a half men's largest size possible. Says Paige. Uh, Mr. Eric. Mr. Eric. Our guy. <laughs> Our guy, Mr. Eric. Now we know he's been finding some good stuff out there. What's for dinner, Eric? What's for dinner? What's for dinner, Mr. Eric? I haven't had dinner yet. That's why I've been munching. <laughs> All right, next. Jordan 6, Bordeaux. 190 comes out on Saturday. And so how do we feel? It looks like it's good quality. Quality does look good. Other photos that I've seen does look good. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Easy car. Nice. Um, so gray. Black suede. Similar Bordeaux accents on the tongue and heel. Let's see. I feel, like, I, I, feel bound. Like, I feel like Bordeaux on sixes fits better than the ones on seven. Yeah, for sure. I think it kind of. I mean, it does look good, but. Seven is like flimsy. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like that about the sevens. Yeah, I know. It's like you stand it and it's like leaning. <laughs> yeah. Wherever it goes. At least sixes has shape. Yeah, exactly. Um, how is this different than the PSG? Uh, it says sourcing code. Bordeaux sixes. My seven's still crispy, though. Mark Price. I look pretty nice. Eric watches YouTube. Fire, smash. Michael <laughs> Michael Jackson would have hated uh nice personal and mr eric is eating chicken taquitos with salsa 
Nice. Pass. Sevens are flimsy. Stepped in doo-doo brown. All right, so Bordeaux, let's see what the resale value is on this uh, once that comes out. But it's like we just got fours, and then now shimmer fours. Now this one, sometimes there's just too much going yeah, on. Yeah, when there's too much, like the, the, the pocket runs out of money. <laughs> exactly. So then people are like, oh, man, what do I do? And then one of them always gets left behind. It might be this one. Yep. Oh, we're not done. Oh, chocolate status. milk. Chocolate milk. 130 on Saturday. Social status stores. So That's very it? Shades of brown. We can't even get it on sneakers, huh? No. <laughs> 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 uh, crinkled paper tongue tags. Mini swooshes. This reminds me of you, Glenn. Uh, chocolate milk. But aren't you the chocolate milk guy when we get, when we get those... Uh, what was that when we get those insomnia cookies? Uh oh yeah, that was back then when I was the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we would get like insomnia cookies like what one in the morning, uh, and then yeah. that's well, that one time with Lowe's, I got all those. Yeah, I was like, what three or four already? Yeah, that was, that was a bad idea. Uh, let me see. These are trash. We're already doing too much. Strawberry milk is better. I take a um, cup of chocolate milk over these, honestly. It's it's a pretty interesting color combo. I mean, like the light blue in the bottom throws it off. Cause like now I'm I'm thinking about like like it looks like chocolate milk, like eggnog milk, and then strawberry milk, and then you got what's blue, right? Like <laughs> you know, if if they if dude, remember imagine if they made the bottoms pink. That would tie in together so much better. Josh Brown, fat hacks, exactly. But uh, what we're not talking about here is the height to this. Do you think this looks weird? It looks like a yeah. man. No, this looks like a Jake approved. I don't like yeah, that. This looks it's weird. Like, uh, it's, it's barely mids. That's what it's called. <laughs> barely mids. Yeah, this is, I don't like this shape at all. Uh, see, how many cookies are expensive? $3 a cookie. <laughs> What's all worth yeah, it? but you can barely eat one. <laughs> After eating one, you're stuffed. Yeah, they are mids. SA. Power rankings. This is usually the time where B takes like a little mini nap and then comes back at the end of the show. <laughs> uh, power rankings last week. Ross. This is where I just take snacks. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, snack eat some up. snacks, hang out a little bit. Uh, Nike Factory Store at two. Burlington, one and a half. Marshalls, one and a half. Ross at three. I know. I was. I was pushing it on that one. Yeah, Ross is not three this week. They shouldn't have never been three. Man, 39. Come on, Baker Brand. 39 yeah. likes only? Baker Brand. 170 plus watching only 39 likes. Hit that like button. There's that one guy again that give you a thumbs down. Oh, uh, that one dude always. Uh, Ross can't be three. Yeah, this was last week too. So okay. be, this is a new week. <laughs> They're not three. Uh, let me see. Anything else? Jake. Oh, Jake update. Um, He just said he's ready to go whenever I want to invite him onto the show. But I have to make oh. sure. Should it be its own show? Will we get to interview Jake? See what he's Yo, been up to? Yo, it has to be or... its own show. Let's have like a what Friday night or something like that. You know how that one time we just hang out like really late? We just start talking random. That has to be it has to be a random night. Yeah. And we just chill, hang out. Maybe on a Sunday night because there's no football this Sunday. And then let's the following do that. Sunday. Yeah, let's do that. Cause yeah. All right. I'll I'll let them know. A Jake show. Let's call it a Jake show. Jake show. Updates, what he's been up to, everything. Definitely own Jake show. <laughs> it could be big. hey, we could edit like it could be a Jake show or a joke show. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, be on that Iverson vibe. I saw so many 70 bucks today. Now, Patrick, you're not wrong. I also saw them today as well. This is what happens when that Nike shortage is running wild. Ross is like, we need basketball shoes. We need something. Hey, what about these Reeboks? Uh, I guess. What do we price them at? 70 bucks. That's going to sit there. Them in Burlington... They're pushing it with these question mids. All right, here we go. 
Richard. We're starting off with Marshalls. And uh, how did Wentz jerseys already show up? Wait. The season hasn't even started. He's He hasn't even played a game yet. He's already at TJ Maxx. Or Marshall. Oh, no, this is Burlington. But why is it at Burlington? All right, this nah, thing got me totally confused. That is wild. So, wrong slide. This is not Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, Burlington never got jerseys like this. All right. But he is in the area, but it is a kid's. And Wentz has Oh, it's kid's. Yet. Okay. Yeah, kid's. They probably traded him already. <laughs> yeah, I know he got hurt, so maybe they're already on their way. He's getting cut, says Victor. Okay, Richard. Here we go. Here's Richard at Marshalls. Uh, 20 bucks on the Notre Dame Under Armour. Furious Flipper. D Rose. $35 with box. Don Alpha Cleat. KS reselling some of the weightlifting shoes. Uh, they're also $20 with uh, half a box. I'm surprised they even have a men's section. Right. One, of my, one of my marshals, they, they're they done. Like with, There's no men's at all. So I know that happened. Uh, here we go next. Moe's Closet. Polo. Racing. Nice. Bobby Hustles. More of these <laughs> Bengals uh, jerseys. Seven bucks. Uh, let me see. Weightlifting shoes come in clutch. There we go. Big cheese. Don Alpha Cleat again. $20 on the Under Armour. This one is South Carolina. Richard found the Notre Dame. And then CNJ Enterprises, TJ Maxx with some of the hats. Dame and Donovan Mitchell. Soul 3, UCLA, Under Armour. There we go. Mr. Sports LA. And got two marshals. One has a row of men's shoes. The other one has half a row. Man, dwindling down. Seems like a few marshals just get a few random Adidas shoes each week. Just price them at 35 to 39 Eric watches YouTube. Bobby Hustles has 100 plus Bengals jerseys by now. Oh, <laughs> Heck yeah. I mean, from those three slides alone that we saw, ton of them. Man. Uh, so, but hey, football season. Uh, now, pretty good stuff here. Dapper Fanatic Warriors jacket is a starter jacket, 20 bucks. Pretty cool. And then uh, best deals here. Uh, paid $518 plus tax for the jacket, the polo jacket, and ended up selling for $1,400 on ebay so most profited resell to date wow that's dope Five, spending not afraid spent hey. 500 plus and it paid off right uh jake is a living legend <laughs> uh, let me see you go back up my marshals has some timberlands now fire vintage profit uh, Marshall is going to be transition over to like TJ Maxx with no men's shoes section at all. I could see that happening. And usually Q4 time, yeah, TJ Maxx is getting shoes. men, so <laughs> who knows? Uh, jacket, risk it for the biscuit. And Nick, strong arm. So yeah, nice flip there. Burlington, one and a half. Um, Hustle Crow said. My cousin told me that Burlington just closed because the manager died of. Mm -hmm. Um, there was also, was it two weeks ago, Raymond, Raymundo, Ray, somebody in the chat said they just got it. Remember, and he said that his girlfriend got it too. I wonder, is, is he doing better? I haven't heard from him. If he's no. watching, can I get an update? Hopefully, you're doing well. I know two. Any, any, go ahead. I know two people that got them. And how are they doing? So so not okay. I, mean, I haven't. Well, how long have they had it? Um, like about a week now. Okay, so maybe another yeah, week. The whole, the whole family got quarantined. Mm. The wife, the wife. I mean, it was the husband that got it. The wife is doing fine. I mean, barely has it. Mm. So, well, we don't know which one, which version, right? Part mm. one or part two. <laughs> mm. So 
Uh, PT Hunter just recovered from second time. Man. Oh, oh, man. What was uh, what was harder, first time or second time around, PT Hunter? Um, man. anybody else in the chat? Any other updates? Family, Petty deals? friends, them. Petty deals got what? Got it? He already Petty has. Deals. Petty. Wow. All right, how are you? How are you feeling? And how long have you had it? Um. Uh, dang, AK Rowdy coworker got it Friday past last night. That's crazy. Um, also, I know there is a GoFundMe for uh, Alabama pickers. I did do their their banner a couple of years ago already. I haven't I haven't talked to uh, I think his name is Dusty. I haven't talked to him in a good while. I, I created the banner for for their channel, and I know his wife passed um, from that as well. And oh wow. Yeah, and he did an update, I think, from... He's actually, like, in the hospital, too, and then he had gotten it, so... Um, petty deal since Thursday, Phil, 100%. So, there's an update there. Uh, that's good. Um, had a co-worker pass over the weekend. Man, quite a people... Uh, quite a people of the people that got it, says McLovin. Um, four family members had to get two tests came back positive uh, i was like i'm not going to any more family gatherings for at least three months patrick stay safe out there patrick wife got it but not for me or the kids william perry a lot of people are passing with this can't say the word a n mm. man so yeah keep the well i don't know different different uh cities have different things as far as like the mask or whatever but um in store and things like that Let's see. V is better than natural antibodies. Get the if you haven't got it already. V will help you. Don't listen to Facebook Vintage Profit. You can still get after getting your V. The purpose of the V is to make sure you don't get severe sick, says Mr. No. Eric. I mean, makes sense. It makes sense. All right, next. Mamo Dog and Stacker Shoe. Richard, New York City Poncho. Mm. And uh, 20 bucks, 40 bucks on these jackets here. No shoes yet, but some jackets worth picking up for Q4. Next, RJ Funky Finds, uh, Spurs Zip Ups, CJ Lakers, Mitchell and Ness, 30. Mm. And Willie Will, he's not done yet. And real deal thrifter. Um, also, let me see how much of this one. Sixty bucks, and that one size small. Uh, let me go back. I got half V, then got C. Says mm -hmm. petty deals. Um, but we'll get to the point where antibodies and a booster will lower the severity of this. You know, says Mr. Eric. Yep. Um, let me see people with the V and still getting it. This is extra grand. Um, that's the thing, though. Is like I don't know. It's it's kind of like you see people that do have the V and then people that don't have the V. But I just don't understand the trash talk. Right. You know, you know what I mean? Like who's better than why? Why are we trying to say who's better than who? Uh, yeah. Like, why, who has why it or it, not has it? Like why is it a competition? Right. It is not like we're paying five grand to get it. It's free. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't it free? Right, it's free, yeah. right? Um, but that that's my thing, like, you know, we just gotta stay safe, right? And then if it's gonna help us, you know, why not? Um but but my um my cousin my cousin's wife is down in Florida and and she's just kinda like worn out already because it's been bad and and pretty much what she told me is like if you have a pre-existing condition and you get hit by this thing it's just kind of like a death sentence it's kind of like expedites everything you know like all the failures all the failures are are gonna tri get triggered right and yeah. then, um, well from what she said because she's an ICU nurse um, before during the lockdown right she she found more people that recovered that got into that got into the ventilator uh mm -hmm. you've seen more uh recovery before but now with the part two thing uh he's 
they said there's far and few like from what she says like 99 percent of the time as soon if you're put in a ventilator uh with this thing you're gone so it's it's sad it's wild yeah uh, especially the pre-existing conditions and i the think they're also talking about two of course like the top the top three i think with uh was like i know high blood pressure was number one diabetes they, diabetes, diabetes yeah. was number two and then obesity i think was number three so i yep. think those are the top three mm -hmm. common high yeah. percentage too i think like 80 yeah. something percent was the high blood pressure alone correct um, correct uh infinite wealth correct um Oh, see, it's the same as, as as what he's saying, um. But yeah, that's that's the set. Like, cause some people, like, yeah, that's like you said, you touched on it, obesity, uh, uh, blood pressure, and then uh, diabetes. So those are, like killers. Yeah. Um. Let me see. Where's Mr. Eric? So, Mr. Eric, what about the people that did get the C? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. what is better for them to just ride that out with their antibodies mm -hmm. from that, yeah. or to actually get the V? because mm -hmm. it sounds like a lot of people that already got it are like why get the v if i already could fight it type of thing so mm -hmm. um cool kicks 100 percent not obesity right if you're obese then you're uh your blood pressure and then diabetes yep uh doug the oh doug the pug man i haven't seen doug the pug in a good while probably been watching I haven't seen the chat but good to see you uh mr eric says get both yeah wait which one's better we, um, we said no no um the antibodies uh oh. like uh when you're talking about that um um it does go away right like mm -hmm. uh especially with this thing that's that's evolved right um but i've heard there's gonna be more uh booster shots mm -hmm. kind of like kind of just kind of help helps the thing but i don't, I don't know about booster i think like, oh like how how many of those are there gonna be and for how long? I mean, really, until until everybody starts being more conscious about what everybody's doing, you know, because we talked about it before, like, right? We know that if you get vaccinated, you're not, like, bulletproof from it. You can still have it. Mm -hmm. But, but you know, we just got to be co conscious about it that even if you have it, you just don't go expose yourself and be carefree and... And that's what I think, you know, it's getting spread or something like that. But either way. Uh, Broken Soul, what up? Big Money Mo. Just in time, Big Money Mo. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's finish this and then we'll, we'll yeah, talk about it after. Uh, Hold on. We'll talk about it after. The chat has some really good comments. I like that. So let's finish the, the stores. I'll we'll go from there. Willie Will, not done yet. Remember last week, we're like, Willie Will, and then now he's here up tempo for kids um also got the nike boots mc incorporated and funky finds other with the new balance all right next oh nike oh, outlet oh yeah man. baby my own page <laughs> the b nike refurbished yeah i was i was i, I actually went there um, cause I was just see, I was just trying to see if they got some cheap t-shirts. It's like, and then I was like, let me browse. Like, uh, and then I was like looking and I was like, what's that all white shoe from afar? And it's refurbished. And then I saw it. I'm like, man, let me get that. <laughs> uh, I thought you were going to pick up these refurbished, uh, camel tail winds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. They're like asking 65 bucks. <laughs> like wild hey you know uh, let me take off the spikes on this and rock them <laughs> <laughs> no this one this one has plastic bottoms by the way so you can't, oh, you can't okay. do that yeah it's it's hard plastic uh the ridges are like the the pattern on the bottom is um uh stiff oh my boy maximo man everyone's here in the chat this is a dream team Mm -hmm. uh let's see we got <laughs> church, the beast church again. Shoes. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna start wearing this every monday for a show <laughs> <laughs> church shoes can you sell nike refurbished as new b yes you can as long as you don't include the box because some of <laughs> the, the refurbished will say like new 
it will it will get a rating like new or cosmetic mm, or that's right. defect or like worn lightly worn um but for me as long as i see the bottoms and it's, there's no scrapes or scratches and then the insole is intact i actually toss the box i, I mean i don't even take photo of it i just sell it as new without box just mm. to kind of like be more simplistic about it uh sapatos also here you know what everybody's here everybody's here how many people are watching come on now it's probably like it's probably <laughs> hitting uh well you know there's only one less yeah 170 but all the big hitters are here sounds like we're gonna make an we're gonna have to make an announcement or something like that <laughs> then now everybody's here uh, everybody's here um it's because the stores are so dry everybody wanted to keep talking about the C and B <laughs> and all that squad <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. See, Mr. Eric's coming. Mr. Eric, we got to uh, hold this until we're done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're th well, look, we'll get back into it. It's a good yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah. We're not done with outlets. Sourcing code <laughs> out here. Not nice flip. Obviously. 30 bucks, 116. Toon Squad and Goon Squad and Fragment. Bam 24 Kicks. Funky One. Sticker Flip Find. Hats event dishes now, <laughs> Mr. Eric. All right, next. Um, man, look at that sticker flip find 130. You have Vapor My. Max out there, Vapor Max flying it triple black sticker flip find the pineapple 95 foamies Air Force One low try sticker deals AK Rowdy and the pollen. All right. A few pieces at big money mode prices. Everybody just start tagging big money mode every single outlet. Fine. Yeah. Let's see what he does. Brian oh. gets his own <laughs> slide. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, oh, it was a medium. Looks like. Oh. Was it was it branded or was it like trash? No, it's like an NFL brand. Ah. I don't know. Man, that would have been your Christmas gift right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice Dolphins hoodie and a schmedium. Uh, we're not done yet. Sinister Profits. Dolphin, Miami oh. NFL Dolphins football adjustable hat. Man, everybody finding Dolphin stuff out here. Because <laughs> the season's about to start. <laughs> they started clearancing it already. Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin's cap to see if I get my own slide. Hell yeah, I get your own slide. Yeah. You know what? Next week, three slides. Uh, let me see. Okay, Brian, we see you. Uh, we only have one real Dolphin fan in here. <laughs> A resell for $8. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We have Try Sticker Deals, Mile High Hustle. Hey, where's Mile High? Not everybody's here. Yeah, yeah. Mile High, Don Alpha Cleet, Doc Martens, Martino Fines. And I think this one was like a Kung Fu Panda Reebok or something. 30 bucks. Mm. Next, Rapid Fines, Flipping for Funds. That one's a pretty cool, like a random eight bucks. What is that? What brand? It's supposed to look like a vintage. Right, right. Like well, 47. They do like football stuff but there's like oh, meant to look vintage yeah they're the one that makes the hats too right Before yeah it, so that's a pretty it. dope shirt though wow and levita retail with project rock short sleeve this is like a belichick hoodie cut the sleeves out there and this is a uh, 25 dollars there you go um, let's see super bowl t-shirt for sure um let me see nine years 35 chargers 10 coup kicks anybody see the beetlejuice converse at burlington i didn't see that sticker pickers wild all right let's keep going uh wind horse some of the cleats up flipping converse and uh, we also got doc martins some of the under armor sinister profits look at these doc martins I don't even see. I don't know what you would call. They're this. like uh, lumberjacks, you know, like or uh, the wood chopper or something like that. Wood, the so, wood choppers. <laughs> yeah, so you don't accidentally slice your feet. Man, you get in a fight, just punt <laughs> someone right in the ass with this shoe. Or it could be a punter shoe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me keep going. Damn, they're ugly. 
Bulk sold all of the trophy room hats for 1k profit. Big money, Mo. Wow, so who he bought does it? it. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey bought it from Big Money Mo. <laughs> he bought it back. He needs inventory in his store, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Marcus. I'm sorry, Marcus. It's Marcus. Marcus. Maybe he'll learn a couple of things from Big Money Mo. Yeah, teach him yeah. a couple of things. Yeah, it came with some uh reselling tips. That's right. <laughs> A Derby City, Mile High Hustle, Martino Finds, Derby City. Some of the Nike pants out there. We got the Flex Nike SB Camo, 20 bucks. And I think these were 22 bucks. Uh, a couple of them here, Derby City. Man, those Sherpa. You need those, Glenn. Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell would I rock this at? <laughs> you never go to Chicago on during fall time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Derby City again. RJ Funky Finds. Um, see some of the Patrick, some of the uh, zip up Adidas jackets. See UNC Nike pants. Some of the Converse flipping for funds. We have Giannis coming to America. One twenty mm-hmm. retail, twenty five dollars size large. C and J LSU. And we got two of the Adidas jersey soles and stitches. They were $15. Wolfpack and Mississippi State. Size small on both. Next. Some of the Nike jackets. Trap Al Bundy Jordan hoodie. Two tech pack. These are nice. Try secret deals. Ross Highsmith. Nice jackets. Two of them there. And Brian. Jacket and the pants. So, jackets are still out there, somehow, mm-hmm. some way. And now into the polo. This one's Under Armour, actually, but polo. Uh, Sixty dollars on that one. Retail two ninety eight. Sneaker flip find. Big crest polo sweatshirt. And we got polo right here in the camo. Bam twenty four kicks. So a little mix of things. And more polo. And Levi's, RJ LeBron jacket, Big Chief resell. Uh, nine hundred retail on the polo. Man, and Ross had it for one ninety. Man, sounds man. I I need that jacket right there. That's what I want. Yeah, this is nice. Also got uh, two twenty retail. Not one most closet. Activate hustle mode with the premium Levi's. Drum the hustler. What up? Uh, Price Assassins early day tomorrow. We'll see your Price Assassins. Sixteen's real. What's up? Um, ah, oh, this one's dope. Martino oh. finds Ross Guru. Yo, we need those. Man, I can't believe nobody has still sent me the overalls. <laughs> yeah, someone's got to send us the overalls for out hustle. All right, dude. I totally rock. Especially this one. Rock this with tank tops. With your, uh, with I was just gonna go no shirt. Singlet. <laughs> singlet. <laughs> you know what I like about it too? This little button right here. So whenever you gotta go go take a uh, piss, it just like open that little bad boy, that little a, door. It's got, it's got a snack pouch. <laughs> Snacks on top. Yeah. And then right to the bathroom under that. Miles fire. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Uh, this is a medium. I think they're what twenty bucks. They're selling for like one forty or one eighty. Wow. They're they're crazy. So yeah, we definitely be Mario and Luigi if you want us to. I know. <laughs> uh, no shirt. <laughs> Open the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Nike hillbilly. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know what I would rock. What would you rock for underneath? Those uh nothing underneath. No, I ain't gonna wear a shirt. Wear those Doc Martin boots. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The Benny says no shirt. Out hustled showing the nips. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Let's see, Air Farm One. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, yeah, we have to rock this without shirts so we could show our tats. Free the nips. There's something weird about overalls that I don't know, like not really being pants. 
but they kind of are. I'm feeling weird having like these openings. I don't know <laughs> if I could do it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Isn't it snow pants? It says Koo Kicks. I, I mean, they? <laughs> they they could be like uh, you know uh, snow pants or like uh, what do you call that? Snowboarding pants, something like that. <laughs> or like bibs, right? Like they, they call that bibs. Is that, is that what they? Say? Yeah, like a bib. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but. But or they could be like you know we we could go fishing you know fishing with Jordans. Oh, uh, very true. Know? These are the go domes, miles. Oh, <laughs> yo, I live on a you know I live in a cold place, but I mean I can't bring myself to rock those. <laughs> Man, zapatos, farmers only. <laughs> 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 Man, this will be classic. All right, we'll have to look into this. I rock them looking like Marky Mark. <laughs> Marky Mark. <laughs> no shirt, no underwear. Man, now we're just pushing it. Yeah, that's gold. That's good. Gold. All right, our last one. Chesky resells Nike SB NBA jackets, and they were twenty five dollars. Man. I remember our outlets got the Cleveland one. <laughs> they had so what did it look like? Oh, it was like the newer Cleveland? Because this is what, yeah. like New York Knicks? That, that's the Knicks, yeah, yeah. Okay. The newer Cleveland, I think I bought a bunch and I sold it quick. But I got it for like 11 bucks. It was because mm. so, it was sitting there for so long. Man, yeah, these are dope. Let me see, $25, a Lakers, and a Knicks. Yeah, those are classic. Yeah, man. Especially um, with the vintage hype going on. Yeah, Mr. Sports LA would definitely rock oh. this. Yeah, there you go. Those jackets are there fire. You go. I knew it. All right. It's supposed to say this week, but I gave Ross two. Um, and the Nike Factory two and one and a half. Just give everybody uh, two. <laughs> and technically, yeah, this is... I mean, they're lackluster on the stars, but I think that is that is what it is. Fire, jackets are fire and fire. All right, giveaway time. Are we ready? It's we like answer. it's that bib. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I give it away? No, no, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let me make sure I have this right. I don't <laughs> Okay, okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, how much does a gold uh, jacket sell for? The, the gold, gold one. I need a dollar sign with the right amount. Oh, I mean, you, don't like have to, you don't have to spell it out. I just you mean retail? The, just retail? No, how much does it sell for resale value on eBay right now? Like ongoing solds, what's the good value on this? Solds. Closest to the solds, what they would be selling for. Uh, it sounds like you have your, you, somebody's got to have it. Yeah, someone has to have it already, I would think. Uh, let me see. We're very close. All right. Uh, big cheese is very close, and 16s is very close. You know what? Let me just get the exact, because someone, someone's going to get it already, if they haven't already. Southtown Finds, very close. Uh, Brian, very close. All right, someone got it. And let me double check. Make sure no one beat them. And uh, no. Hmm. Double checking. Ooh. Verifying. Oh, yeah. Someone did beat that person. And then someone beat that person. Oh, crap. And then someone beat <laughs> that person. All right. I'm way behind. All right. I'm verifying. I have it highlighted here to make sure this person has won. And let's see, double checking. I gotta make sure. Can't have anybody screwed over here. And yeah, it looks like they did get it. Keep going. There's so many answers on here. Yep, they got it. Correct answer was, I have it highlighted here, Hustle Crow. 110 was the correct answer. Oh wow. That's like that's like retail though, right? Yeah, I think it's pretty much retail, I think. Uh 110. 
There's not too many solds, actually. This is only like two. There's only like three solds on here. Um, not really that many listed either. So, congrats, Hustle Crow. One ten. Correct answer. Um, I was ready for the Nike bib. Activate Hustle mode. All right, get this out of the way. Get this. All right. So, congrats there, Hustle Crow. All right. Anything in the chat you want to talk about? Late shipments. You want to talk about the uh, the C and the V again, or um, anything else going on? I know. Wait, what was the last thing? I can't even go back up that far in the chat. Whatever Mr. Eric told us before that that paragraph. Oh. Um, the V says select goods. Jordan so, four. Jordan <laughs> Jordan four. Uh, congrats, also Crow. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, I just uh, uh, up the price on all my Jordan force this morning because I accidentally sold another Jordan four that I didn't mean accidentally, to, which I thought I was high on the market already. Mm. And somebody paid. Oh, so cool kicks. How did you become a Lakers fan and a Dolphins fan? <laughs> I said I responded to him. He said he wants to win and lose at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> win and lose. Uh, that's a good question. So originally I was a Cowboys fan because I didn't know better. So uh, you the cousins, uncles, you yeah, they're like, oh, Cowboys, Cowboys. I was like, Ugh. so I wanted to be different. I would watch highlights. I would watch, you know, games and then i saw dan marino that's what got me into dolphins um unfortunately i haven't seen them done much in everything that i've supported them in and i've stuck with them now lakers originally i wasn't i was i really liked the charlotte hornets a lot okay because um glenn rice three-point shooter they they traded him from the heat to the hornets but then they traded him from the Hornets to the Lakers. So I kind of followed him into Lakers. Who did, who did he play with? Was it Jamal Mosh, Moshburn was there? No. Uh, when when Glenn Rice was in the Hornets, they had uh, Anthony Mason. They had mm-hmm. Vladi. They oh, had, I, oh, this was back, back. This was early Glenn Rice. Yeah. They still had Del Curry. Mm. Um, they still had. So now I know why you're a Steph Curry fan. <laughs> uh, I'll see. There goes Sue Huskins. Glenn Rice basketball signed. Larry Johnson. Glenn was a huge Ace Ventura pet detective. Ace <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, Ventura. <laughs> oh man! Uh, morning Rice Bogues to a time. Oh, Bogues was there. Muggsy was there for a little bit. And then I know they did get like David Wesley. They got some other. I think Bobby Phils was also there. Um, let me see. They had Muggsy. There we go. David Wesley. Oh, there we go. See. Uh, let me go back up and see. So yeah, I kind of followed them when they traded them uh, to the Lakers, and then I was like watching there, and March. then I just kind of stayed with Lakers from there March. on out. Mark's trying to push your button. He said, "Why won't you?" Uh, why won't you wear Pistons and Spurs jersey? No, oh, he knows damn right why I won't wear that. <laughs> He's a mellow fan now, yes. He's a mellow fan. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't mind buying his jersey. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to try to find I'll try to find one. All right, right. Mellow. Dude, that does clean. That would be a clean jersey. Yeah. Uh, let me see Glenn Rice's wife. <laughs> hustle grow. Uh, got his Lakers jersey. Nice. That can be hustle mode. Matt Geiger, man. I haven't heard Matt that name Geiger. in a long time. So he was there before he went to Philly? Wait, who are we talking about? Geiger. Oh, yeah. He was he was there with the Hornets. Mm, they went to Philly with, uh, <laughs> with early Iverson, right? Yeah, and then they also had... Yeah, but even then, I think they were still kind of like right in the bench at that point. Uh, lots of Hornets fans back in those days, petty deals. Man, how do these people know them? I guess they're just <laughs> old. <laughs> old. 
Uh, let me see. I also recorded, I remember I recorded the uh, 97 draft on VHS. I watched when they when they uh, drafted Iverson. And then I watched, that was like the best draft too. You Who know, was there? Steve Nash, we had Kobe. Oh, that was We had Ray cool. Allen, Abdul Rahim. Was Tracy McGrady earlier? That was the year after. It was oh, T-Mac uh, with uh, Tim Duncan. Yeah. What about Vince? Was Vince there or Vince? Uh, was- no, that was the year after that. It was Vince with Dirk and Dirk. who else was part of that one? I can't remember. Uh, what's in those Jordan 1 boxes behind you? They are mochas. Oh, man. Um, 96 That's draft. That. There we go. Maximo, Steve Nash. Uh, let me see. Vince. Yeah, there you go. Jameson. People in Chicago hate the Pistons so much. Forgot that Isaiah Thomas is actually from Chicago. No one acknowledges him. <laughs> Man, that sucks. <laughs> For real though. It's like it's like now it feels like MJ is from Chicago, right? Even though he's not from Chicago. Yeah. That's because he screwed with MJ. Now he's like, nope. Like Chicago <laughs> Chicago disowned somebody that was actually from Chicago because he messed with Michael. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Let's go back up. Kobe leaving Charlotte. Doom does forever. Dude, that was wild, huh? Crazy. But I wouldn't even think Kobe would be Kobe if he didn't leave Charlotte. Yeah, that would have been weird. That would have been weird because, you know, just post Shaq. And when he was younger, he never really was the Kobe that could win a championship. Yeah. You had to grow up a lot, lot. So the last dance, uh, they made it look like a bunch of all stars didn't like Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> yeah, for the USA team and everything, they're like, yeah. I think the all 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 stars back in the day had to count with Mike or else <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mike would humiliate them. Swoop saving Stevie franchise. He didn't mess with Steve Francis back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, uh, with Katino Mobley. Oh, yeah, Catino. Yeah, you don't mess with those two. Who else uh, was there? For Rockets? Yeah. At that time? Yao. Yao was there. Yeah, Yao was there. A phone about to die, S.A. Did you watch Malice at the Palace, the Netflix special? Not yet. What? Oh. Dude, but I was uh, – that. this was the time when um, I was uh, – because my, my dad's cousin lived in Detroit during this time. And um, he uh, he knew Jerry Stackhouse. Oh. So he was, like, buying me some, you know, Pistons gear and stuff like that. And that's how I started following him. But, but yeah, I was I was really mad about that. I was, I was, I was like, I was so mad about that. Just because my guy, Ben Wallace, was my guy. You know, <laughs> hustle kind of guy. And, you know, they got in the scuffle. And Rashid just didn't help the case either. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you definitely gotta watch it. It's like it's it's really good. But I just remember, I remember the Jermaine O'Neal sliding. That punch. Jermaine O'Neal was just like, <laughs> dude. It's like it was all. It was funny too because like it was all captured like perfectly, right? Like all angles were covered. It's not like the cameras went crazy. No, the cameras were like, here's the show. You know, it's like imagine the director of the 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 camera crew. It's like, hey, go go get Jermaine. Go get you know like like. <laughs> They probably had to assign each camera to each person so they would go, get all the, the recording. Man, you think the Pacers would have won that year? It was that for no right? I think they would have went high. They would have stayed up there, but I don't think they could have beaten Pistons. Oh, man, stupid Pistons. Yeah, spe- dude. I, Chauncey. I've never, I've Chauncey never... single-handedly destroyed. Cha- these... Yeah, Ch- Chauncey's like just... He, he he was such a vet at his peak. He was so smart. He was kind of like a Jason kid that didn't have fancy passing, but he would just low post everybody. Everybody that would guard him, he would just low post them and put a big guy on him. He would just blow by. It was it felt like too easy. That was the moment, Glenn, when I rocked and won. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have uh, the the B- big Ben's and one shoes, mm. the, the white and red one. But, well, one says paper, that Pacers team could have went to the finals. Yeah, could have. 
Uh, Freddie Jones getting whooped. I remember that too. I was like, dude, <laughs> that poor guy right out here. Price is also balling. Uh, let me see. Go back up. Uh, Mouse of the Palace. I swear, runner test didn't. What? No smoke with Ben Wallace. He went at the fans. Yeah. For well, real. that fan threw that drink is like. Yeah, it started it all. The yeah. professor. No, it was a uh, Tayshon Prince was there. I think he meant Prince. With those long ass arms. Yeah, I know, right? Like what, seven foot wingspan? <laughs> and he was like, he was always like, I'm, like, cause he was like lighter skin, right? And it was like, and he was like so skinny, was, like man, this guy just needs food or something. <laughs> uh, if you buy Jordan's old home, you get every Jordan sneaker ever. It says oh, the one in Jordan. Chicago, dude. They've heavily discounted it already. Still, no one's wants to buy. Uh, any Jeremy Lin fans? Smooth sailing. Oh, he was a good guy. He was a good guy. Smart good guy. guy. Harvard guy. Come on, you can't, you know? Uh, let me see. Billups, one of the most underrated. Portland trading Jermaine O'Neal to Indiana for Antonio Davis. Terrible trade. I know. Yeah, but, but when they got Jermaine O'Neal, he was like 16 years old. He didn't know how to play. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Get this out of the way. There you go. Jeremy Lin fan. Koo kicks says none. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Tishon Prince underrated. Uh, that, yeah, that guy was like, you know, he was like a long Manu Ginobili, you know, like, but he could, sh you know, he could shoot. He was like, he was a smart player. I don't want to talk about Pistons or Spurs anymore. We're, <laughs> we're done talking about them. <laughs> Dude, like you have to admit it, dude. The the team was it was well put together. Whoever was Dumars was the GM, right? Joe Dumars was yeah. the GM at that time. And then they had uh was it uh what's his name? What's the coach? It was uh, Iverson's coach, right? Larry Brown? Yeah, Larry Brown. Yeah. That guy's I, I was happy that he won the ring. Uh let me go back up. Okay, so now oh mile high. There we go. There's mile high. Uh, Mile High is here. A couple of weeks ago, I read an article about online selling tax thresholds for 2022 is $600. No longer 200 transactions or 20K. What are your thoughts on that, Bam 24 Kicks? Um, it was um, it was actually the, the threshold that they would send a 1099 form, right? Yeah. But, but either way, you had to report your earnings. Because the last yeah. thing you want to do, you made 500, 1,000 bucks last year or the past few years. You didn't report it, and an IRS could backtrack you at least three years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you've still been the hook. Yeah, you've still been the hook. Either way, just report taxes. Um, yeah, either way. But yeah, even if I made, you know, just, just don't get audited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me go back on here. Talking about different players. Um, how many more players are Lakers gonna sign? So they got Rondo, and <laughs> I don't know. I guess they still have some some money to spare. Time to start tracking your receipts. Uh, let me see. Do you offer free shipping on everything? Um, I do on eBay. I don't on Mercari. Um. And I know B does free shipping on certain things, but not everything. Yeah, most a hundred dollar uh, automatically everything over a hundred is free shipping. Uh, under under a hundred is kind of like it just depends uh, because of uh, um, returns, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, if it could be a factor, especially if I have to send it to uh, West Coast, but. But the goal really is, you know, everything over 100. Uh, let me see. Oh, where are we? Now eBay Mercari will start reporting. Yeah, Mercari is already doing. You'll have to report everything from Mercari now, too. Mm -hmm. um, I charge 10 bucks flat rate for all sticker pickers. Um, let me go back up. Starting to test free and calculated shipping. Mile high hustle. I do free shipping on women's stuff. Activate hustle mode. What's your plan of attack since it's been so dry? Says Norel. Um, well, go be, you, go, no, I thought you were go first. Okay. Go ahead. 
Uh, my attack right now, I've been sourcing... Well, I've still been going to so stores, of course. I think that the stores are kind of like no longer the number one right now, at least in my area. I've been depending on the two suppliers that still have been getting decent stuff. So those two have been doing well. Um, I have been getting jerseys, which I haven't been posting, but I will. Because um, I have a lot of the similar ones. I just want to get them in and get them good to go when I don't have to like list it and then it's the same one or it's a different one. I just want to do all at once, list all at once. And also I'm still getting them ready for Q4. Um, also jackets I haven't listed yet too. So I'm kind of hoarding stuff for now, staying patient on that. Um, and then that's pretty much it for now, kind of de depending on that, um, which they've been, they've been good. I just need to get everything set and, and listed. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I've been more focused on the outlets, uh, just on different brands. Uh, but you can still get some decent like clothing. If you just focus on high retail clothing, like glance and high end jackets, I think that's what I have a lot of right now that I haven't listed. Um, but besides that, there's really no rush. Uh, well, given the fact that I have a lot of inventory currently already. So if you have a lot of inventory, there's really no rush to buy inventory. But if you still want to grow, there are opportunities out there. You just have to kind of like explore more you might have to travel further or because there's that one or two three nike outlets that are just a little bit further away from you that actually has products so um so try to explore those and then at the same time i do have uh different hoodies and sweatpants and things like that nike that um if you look at it it doesn't look like i have a lot because i keep replenishing them because i have like 10, 15, 20, 25 of each size, just depending on what it is. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting two per two to three max per like size. Mm -hmm. And then of course it Don't says like, oh, one left and things like that. Just learning my lesson. I did that with Jordan shorts where I ended up getting a ton of them. And then I still have a ton of them and I'm trying to like go back and just show that I don't have that too many and try to get that urgency from people. Cause they, they won't buy it. Like they see you have plenty in stock. Yeah. It'll take forever. So I'm just keeping two or three at a time and then I'll just keep replenishing from there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, you are, like, maybe at the peak of Q4, I'm probably going to up my quantity because me and Glenn do the same post lesser quantity just so, you know, once it gets rocking at that point, I really don't have any time to do inventory inventory check. So, uh, what what we what I what we do is we keep a master list of the maximum quantity, and then like like Glenn said, just replenish every time one sells. Every time it sells, I take it off the master list. I have I have the quantities already there. I just mm -hmm. have to keep track of it every time something, something sells because I'm not I don't want to go back into the storage and see like oh yeah how many more of this do I have it, left? Right, yeah. yeah it's like i have it yeah, in master first, list keep up first, with it yeah your first count has to be on point i mean count mm -hmm. it twice and then you have a master list and then just rely on that master list unless ebay messes up your count should be accurate <laughs> unless ebay messes up <laughs> <laughs> start all over again uh sneaker pickers yeah do the same thing with socks list three at a time so smart definitely yep. get that urgency yeah. Um, hype shoes versus discounted shoes, Southtown finds. I mean, hype shoes would be like right the the best case scenario or to live to live the dream of just sell hype shoes, but really to make X amount of money, you have to you have to sell a certain quantity. So let's just say lightning force, right? Like to make the money that I would have wanted to make this month. If I relied on hype shoes, you know, I need a hundred, a hundred pairs. But, you know, looking at the stock numbers, it was hard to get even ten pairs. Indeed. So, uh, hype shoes is really just the, you know, the cherry on top of what we do. Um, or unless you get a bulk, you know, bulk purchase, pre-order, and stuff like that. But again, that will require higher capital too. Um, but you know, the discounted shoes is really where, you know, where you could push more volume uh, with a 
you know, with n not having a lot of capital? Uh, depends on if uh, you can get your hands on hype sneakers. All about what is available to you, says Koo Kicks. Mm -hmm. um, for sure. I mean, the thing of what I'm focusing right now too is like I don't want to sell the hype stuff. I want I want to sell all of the other things before I get to that. So, yeah. if I'm running out of inventory, I would say that's a good good thing because I don't want to touch the hype shoes, and so that's why the mochas and the fours and the flints, I'm just keeping them. And then I just yeah. want to sell all the hoodies I can and all that stuff. Clothing. Sell. Yeah, because it's not like Glenn's retiring next week. So right? <laughs> the channel's so, just gone. Yeah. Retirement. Right. Yeah. So that's the goal is really, you know, by the time that you want to slow down sourcing, you just look behind you. And next thing you know, it's just, you know, thousand pairs of retros. Thousand, right? Imagine having a thousand pairs of red shows. That would be gold. You're almost. You're halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being glad whenever this thing goes away, vendor room still on Chicago. There we go, William Perry. Right. Uh, we're definitely open to that. General release does fairly well, and it's consistent. Select goods. That is true. Uh, let me go back up. I think we had some other questions or things we wanted to talk about. Um, let me see. I didn't see anything on here. If I don't have an LLC nor sole propriety or something like that, what can we write off? Um, if you don't have an LLC, you're definitely a sole proprietor. Um, uh, technically, if you're making more than, uh, more than a W2 kind of job, you're actually a sole proprietor is that's how you would report your income under. Um, but the, the formality of having a name, that's when you had to apply for, for your, whatever your state requires, but anything over, uh, your W2 income will have, will be falling under a sole proprietor. Um, but you can definitely write off any business expense and business costs. But I would, you know, I would talk to a CPA, consult with a CPA. Big money mode, 1099, you can pretty much write anything off. <laughs> Technically, <laughs> until you get audited. But, yeah, you could write everything off. <laughs> I think the thing is, is, like, what you're kind of looking at is, like, I don't want to buy a new computer, but you could buy a new computer and you can and write, write it off. off. Yeah. Um. So you, you would have a brand new one, but it's a matter of, like, but... I would want to use that money to buy more inventory. I want to use that money right, to right, do something right. else, which I get it. But at the same time, you need to have, you need to have some good write-offs in there too. Yes, that's why you have to talk to a CPA because there is income tax bracket. After you net X amount of money, then your tax bracket could jump tremendously. Yeah. So it might be better off upgrading your computer, buying a sourcing vehicle than paying more percentage in taxes at the end of the year yeah. so so the beauty of how the taxes is uh formed here in the u.s that's why it favors the business owners uh, i mean i agree because it's not it's not easy to create a business but yeah oh, look at this guy okay bezos <laughs> <laughs> CPA is definitely worth it. Yeah, you gotta get a CPA. Uh, go to uh, not your dad's CPA on IG. Uh, he's a pretty good guy. Tell him we sent you. Uh, let me see. Hustle B. There you go with the tax advice. Select goods. Yeah. Uh, you'll get audited when you fail to report income. As long as you're reporting the money that coming in, you can write off on the other end. The big money mall. That is true. Or unless you get flagged because this guy written off, written off you know, a million dollar in, in, <laughs> in meals. <laughs> <laughs> meals. Hey, by the way, guys, business meals and drinks are hundred percent write off for this, for this and travel. And you know, you want to, you need to go source somewhere. Yes. Travel is hundred percent. Yeah. But before last year, it was only 50% off. Mm. No wonder why you see me eating more bougie food this year. <laughs> it's more tax write-off. But yeah, uh, food, yeah. 
I've been having more business meetings in, you know, four or five star restaurants. With your associates? Yeah, with the associates, which is aka my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see. Is there an app that you guys use to track your mileage that you can recommend? I started using an app, but then keep forgetting to turn it on when leaving the house. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the best way I got this advice from a CPA, but don't take it from me, is you could actually uh, estimate. So I would estimate your route, formulate and, you know, track your route and then multiply that to how many times that you source every week. You know, multiply it by the months and then you'll get your estimate for the year but yes um mileage is a very big uh uh right write off or you could have a different car for sourcing which is so much easier <laughs> astro drip uh feds are watching don't get too comfortable <laughs> they already they already started watching when we started talking about the c and yeah, yeah, they're already the watching. That's, and... why, that's why you we use screen names. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they're already here. They're camped out. Yeah, now. yeah, they've been here. Uh, let me go back. Let's see. Everlance is a good app. Someone said Mile IQ. There you go, Mile High Hustle. Um, I also keep track of just like how much gas, you know, how much am I spending every yeah, week? Gas every like month, yeah, gas every month. So, yeah, yeah every week because. Mm -hmm. Especially with gas going up and everything. My IQ, five dollars a month. Uh who's winning Lakers or Nets this year? Uh Lakers. Man, if Nets stay healthy, your old Lakers are gonna lose back. <laughs> old Lakers. Or or it would be funny because none of those teams have defense. So it, it's really whoever catches the hot hand. <laughs> <laughs> if Melo starts heating up, they're toast. But Katie starts heating up. You know, Lakers toast. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what it is. And I mean, like, it's really just staying healthy. That's that's the real thing. Because, like, I mean, in all seriousness, we haven't really seen the full blown Nets team all cylinders firing. Because yeah, Giannis has injured Kyrie, <laughs> and and Harden is too overweight to pull his hammy. Oh, Mile High says, win what? <laughs> Suns fan. Ah. Big money mo. Yeah, I'm sure fans are watching this live stream. <laughs> <laughs> they got bored a long time ago. Yeah. My old Lakers all day, every day, Mr. Sports LA. Yep. Uh, where does Ben Simmons go? <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. Who wants Ben Simmons? Whoever wants him will get him <laughs> at this point. You should just go back and play Australia team. They'd make more <laughs> money there. Uh, who do you think disliked the video? <laughs> that long on the count. Oh, man. Oh, Good man. thing I got my VPN on. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, so, uh, select, uh, uh, select goods. I think he's Filipino. Um, but yeah, Filipinos know how to have VPNs on their PCs. <laughs> I have VPN too, so. Uh, look at B. Yeah, you need it when you're when you have a million accounts. <laughs> uh, way overpriced Ben Simmons right now with no jump shot, who kicks. Yep. He's got a lot to work on. Yeah, he needs to hire Rip Hamilton, teach him how to shoot. Ray Allen, somebody. Yeah, Reggie. Uh, select goods. You're right, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh man, uh, let me see. Let's go back up. What are questions that we have? Anything else going on in the world today? Great challenge left. That's good and gone. So, um, any other questions, comments going on in the world? Anything that uh, we need to talk about? Sports or non-sports? Reselling or non-reselling? See. Yeah. Look at Cool Kicks. Cool Kicks stars sound like LeBron. Full off season, so the players shouldn't get hurt as much. Yeah, all right, cool. You've been watching too much Lakers. <laughs> or you've been following LeBron too much. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, why do Jordan 2s get no love? 
because they're trash. <laughs> and right, being number two is never a good idea. Uh, Astro Drip, let's do a Hustler Hacks Fantasy Football League. I can set up. You know what? So fantasy, I was like all in before I was making real money. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was, because it was his his uh, lottery ticket. <laughs> I just know I don't have the time to yeah. to keep uh, up. And you know, here's here's one thing though, two three years ago, yeah, when, when I was played. doing the merch by Amazon, there was some dudes that they were like, "Hey, if we're gonna do a we're gonna do a league if you want in," and it was two grand to get in. What? I was like, what the hell? Two grand. Dude, I was gets 10K. When, we did, when we did 50 bucks. Oh, I know. Winner gets 10K. And then I thought, I think second place got four and third place got one. I don't remember. Dude, was like... I'm pretty good at my picks. The only thing is I don't understand at the whole, like the, what do you call that? Like the off week, the bye week. Oh, the bye. <laughs> Dude, I... There was one time I I had um I had I had Brady, I had Gronk, and I think I had Edelman. I was like smoking everybody until they got off week and I was like I didn't have anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tend to draft people that I follow a lot, so and a lot of them are in the same team. That's 16k of capital for four months for the commission. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> wow, imagine that. Dude, I'd roll that over and be like, all right, I'm upping the money to 17K. <laughs> <laughs> By the time the season right, ends, but you know, I what's even going you on? doubled it already. Come on now. If you can't double that doing what we do, you're not doing it right. That's smart. <laughs> Let's see. Glenn Fax oh, used to be in the no fantasy for three I, years in a row. No wonder why Astro Drip wanted to commission it or set it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set it up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll set it up. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Let's see. One kick finder, uh, Jake Paul fight. What did you think? I think it's fake. Huh? I think yeah. it's fake. I think it's rigged. Tyrone Woodley, uh, there's no way that. That guy couldn't know, don't know how to hit. Yeah, a UFC fighter. And then when he first came in, he went right when it started. He went right for the cross and he was just like not even jab cross he just right cross and he was just like his stance was so weird open. Was like, it was so was like, open right I was yeah like, what is this <laughs> it, just, it just didn't seem right yeah super fake yeah and jake paul they're just gonna keep rolling this thing yeah they're just because people want to see him get knocked out he's yeah. not going to yeah. he's gonna keep making big money yeah. because let's say if he did get knocked out in this third fight that he had nobody then no one's gonna it. watch the ones after yeah. that so yeah. they're gonna they're gonna wait i think they're gonna wait till till that hype dies down of him keeping with uh keep on winning mm -hmm. and then he's probably gonna take one real fight that he's gonna probably gonna get hurt or lose and then there's gonna be you know they're gonna rematch there, he this guy is a a uh marketer right oh, that's how sure. he made his money and he's smarter than that and then there's so much so like just put a real amateur boxer there if he wants to do it the right way right to go up in ranks in box, boxing and get name he would fight amateurs the reason why he won't fight amateurs is because the amateurs are gonna knock him out yeah because for standing he's fighting this non-boxers that's why it's like this mm -hmm. Let's yeah see. i mean mayweather right like that fight was like that was whack it was pretty much like, let's make it look good. Mm -hmm. Don't knock me out. And at the same time, we don't have to get hurt. We'll yeah. just make a big paycheck. Dude, it's imagine win -win. that. The money's so big already. Yeah, it's a win-win. <laughs> um, I can't wait for the Fury fight, though. When 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 is that again? Uh, let me see. What? Wait until y'all start your boxing careers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already old. Unless we did like a fake. I start talking trash to B, and then we just like make. Ah oh, man, you gave it away already. Oh, sorry. You were gonna rip me off of a deal, and then I challenged you online. Okay, here, here's here's a question for the chat. So, if you want Hustler Hacks to fight another YouTuber, 
that resells, who would it be? <laughs> Put it in the chat. <laughs> if you want, if you would have a pick opponent for Hustleby to box against another a reseller, who would it be? <laughs> and would you watch? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Y'all tripping. Jake's long. Jake's yeah. like Deshaun Prince. <laughs> Well, what Jake's my boy though. He would be, he'd be Jake, walking with me out onto the. Yeah, he would intro. He Jake would be a, a undercard. Me and Jake would be undercard. Undercard. <laughs> oh man, let me see. Go back up. B versus scam. <laughs> <laughs> scam skicks, dude. <laughs> we knocked that kid out too easy. <laughs> Oh man, Stevie D. Stevie D is also tall. You have to get some. Stevie D could go. Is more of like a, a Jake, Jake type. Yeah. And District Deals is all. These guys are tall. Like B and B, we don't have that height. Like. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Flipping it good. Flipping it good. I'd find him for all his Vapor Max finds. <laughs> uh, Koo Kicks versus B. Asian versus Asian. Yeah, you guys are trying to get some Asian fights in here. I don't like that. Ryan Roots, he's too buff. Have you seen those guns? Ryan Roots, and uh, that's like saying, like, put against, um, what's his name? Bonafide Hustler. <laughs> <laughs> Tear me apart. <laughs> <That's mean. laughs> Daily refinement. <laughs> Man, you guys... We got to tell everybody, I don't, well, only a few people have seen us in real life, but see how how tall and or short we are. So, uh, well, oh, there we go. Reezy, he's like 5'1". I'll, I'll fight Reezy. <laughs> B said he's open. There we go. <laughs> Look, I'm oh, really man. short and then Reezy's shorter. <laughs> oh, man. My boy Relentless resell. You guys are just trying to get brown against brown. Yo, we need some. Well, it's funny. Maximo, because, uh, man. We need we need somebody that's actually like a real athlete because like I haven't seen a reseller dunk. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? Well, being athletic. <laughs> um, are we are we the best athletic? I. Uh, I, I think you're the best shooter. Oh, now we're going back to basketball. Right, right, right. Fight. I mean, like, we, we have to have specialty. <laughs> um, I I think I'm quicker than most people anticipate. Oh. You just watch the highlights. Man, he's quick on the court. He's quick. Also quick fighting, on, too. Quick on deals. A little hook uppercut. Yeah. There we go. A little ducks. Man. Dude, just a baby's <laughs> Man. <laughs> Resellers so resell because they're not athletic. <laughs> yeah. Resellers resell. Uh, three-point contest. Glenn, Glenn would win the three-point contest. Jake had an idea to do... um, Like an all-star? Yeah, to yeah. do like a three-point shooting because he was like, look, we're not in shape. We don't need to be running purely shooting he's like there's some good heavy set shooters out there they let's just need to do, they need to get their chance to shine let's let's do a skills challenge <laughs> Skill, skills challenge so when we when we talk to jake we'll ask him about that all right let's see if and I his get, basketball get tour shooting tour and how that goes. jake can't shoot though <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't tell him that we'll see what he, what he oh. jumps in Hey, next thing you know, he's been like, you know, he's been on, uh, was that LA Fitness with those basketball court all day oh, that's long? That's true. Uh, let's see. Glenn is a Tony Ku coach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about Donda album? What? Con uh, Kanye's album. Did you do a review? Did you listen? No, every, everybody thinks it's trash. Did you listen to it, though? No. I think I got like five songs in. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you think? Check. Where did I end? I think I got five or six songs in, and then I was 
kind of done. <laughs> oh, really? Um, I got two. Uh, one, two, three, four. Off the grid, I actually did like off the grid. I got to Hurricane. Okay. Praise God, Jonah, and then I was okay, okay, okay. I got that far, and then I was done. Okay, I, I'm gonna listen to it tonight. Okay, B will listen to it. He'll give us a review. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake will be shooting from mid court. We're doing two hours tonight. Uh, there we go, Big Money Mo off the grid. Uh, man, so Big Money Mo, not a fan. And that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of 27 songs, almost two hours long. 27 songs? <laughs> oh, probably like, what, a minute long? Well, the first one is, but you gotta, yeah, you gotta go through it all and see. Well, where's, uh, where is he? Astro Drip, what do we think about? Yeah. The review. Astro Drip. Yeah. Maxim will count me in for the skills challenge. Oh, uh, Maxim will place all, all every weekend. There we go. To the gym, especially rocking his Kobe's. I'd be hanging him in back here. He rocks him. Zapatos, I'm down to go to Vegas, watch a reseller MMA. <laughs> MMA, <laughs> what's from boxing? Straight up <laughs> Just killing MMA. a bare knuckle fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. What is going on? Stars are dry. MK. Yep. Oh, crap. Big money, Mo Bench 405. <laughs> Big money, Mo. Uh, no wonder why his name's Big Money. All right, Sneaker Pickers is in for a three point contest. No, we should organize uh, that. Do something. Reseller fun. Flight Club. <laughs> who, I don't even know who Profit Pat is. A uh, fight would be in a Ross store. <laughs> and listen to it once. Half the album needs to be cut. Yeah, uh, uh, Ross, very good. Uh, Ross Vegas. That's where the fight would be at. Ross Vegas. It, everybody would lose money, though, because no one really knows who all these resellers are. Exactly. I mean, everybody, uh, Jake Paul is bringing in big crowds, big money, but... Right, right. right. <laughs> like, who are these guys again? <laughs> Who's this <laughs> hustler <laughs> guy? <laughs> fighting who? Wait, fighting who? <laughs> hey, just, And guys, how much is this pay-per-view? <laughs> right, right. Just so we're clear, we're not really going to make money off this fight. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we really make money on reselling. So, y'all got to think that. Think about that. This pay-per-view is three times the Jake Paul price? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you got to make up for the numbers. Ah, oh, so, so that good that we'll bring the customers. Oh. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Uh, tickets will be free just to get people in there. <laughs> uh, let me see. I can bench press. <laughs> 20 pounds or five boxes of Jordans. Ah, oh, there you go. Sapatos. There we go. All right, yeah, big money, Mo not messing around. Bench press, man, this guy wants man, no three no. point shootouts. There's bench press, dude, skill challenge. <laughs> I know, no, but oh, uh, yeah, I'll fight you on a Korean barbecue table. <laughs> now, there's food eating contest, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, for real, though. So, um, no wonder why big money, Mo. Talk about strong arming those people in the cash register to give them the, all those discounts. Oh, for sure. Right? It's Resale. either his it's, <laughs> it's either his charms or his arms. Yeah. He gets them. <laughs> either way. All right. Anything else before we go? Twelve minutes before we hit two hours. All right, we gotta we gotta cut this. I'm all right, right, we're done here. Uh, well, we'll but, but, but we'll definitely uh, get Jake on, and then we'll be uh, we'll be there. We'll 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 interview Jake. Okay, let me let me set up a message. See right, if he's right. open for Sunday. Um, we'll figure that out, and then Monday, as usual, uh, this time is going to be uh, Mamba mentality for Monday. It's the first week, our first first Monday of the month. Tomorrow is Jordan 4's part two. Jordan 4's you passed on, skyrocketed in price, part two. And then Friday, I'll try to do Burlington. 
since I haven't done Burlington in a long ass time. All right, we are done. I will see you live on Monday. Enjoy the videos Thursday and Friday and the weekend. Oh, uh, well, you know what? You already know what's coming up. Labor Day weekend? And Monday. Are people going to be here on Monday? 100%. It's Did we dangerous. said that last time? Any like little small holiday? Uh, it's dangerous then... out there. It's dangerous out there. Okay, we'll figure. Maybe we'll do Monday. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, we'll do the people a favor if if we give them entertainment or some. Not if they're going out of town or doing other stuff. I forgot that it was like a holiday weekend. No, oh, they'll be back. People gotta work, Glenn. Come on. Come on now. People All right, make we'll, we'll figure it out. See you guys. Right. Go and get it.